yet another drone attack on Moscow region has uh, alarmed the Russian authorities because this is uh, several in the recent weeks that uh, have attacked Moscow region. Uh, in the latest attack, three drones did reach to the center of Moscow uh, while one drone was tackled by the aerial defense system of the Moscow region. Another two were tackled by the electronic warfare uh, which did not let them operate smoothly and they got disoriented and crashed down. One of the drone crashed into a building that was not a residential building, it was a business uh, building and the attack since it happened somewhere around 3.30 in the morning, so there was no person uh, inside the building and uh, apparently there has been no injury or no fatalities in these drone attacks and this has been confirmed by the mayor of Moscow region that in these three drones attack there has not been any casualties or any harm to uh, any person but uh, nevertheless this raises questions uh, on two aspects first the key authorities capability to reach out and strike into deep uh, regions of Russia uh, which is very much the capital city of Moscow and which has the most robust aerial defense system working at right now the second is uh, is Russia increasingly getting uh, involved in this attack and how Russia is going to respond to that because uh, recently uh, though Kiev has never taken any responsibility or any direct responsibility of any drone attack that has happened in the recent weeks or recent months uh, inside Russia. In fact the Crimean Bridge attack has also not been uh, clarified or taken responsibility by anybody but Russian side has said that their investigation has clearly indicated that Kiev regime was responsible for these attacks targeting civilian infrastructure. Russia has also said that these attacks could not take place without the support of NATO alliance and they have direct responsibility in abating and uh, aiding these attacks which have uh, penetrated deep inside Russia and targeted civilian infrastructure, sometimes injuring people also and most of the time uh, they have been tackled by the Russian authorities so far. Uh, now Russia is going to uh, create some sort of uh, defense system of course for the Moscow region but at the same time it is also going to retaliate because the Russian authorities have said that these attacks will not be taken lightly and they will be responded uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a safe and harshest way. Uh, now the Russians are apparently trying to escalate some aerial attack on some of the regions in Kyiv. Uh, and Kyiv authorities are of course preparing to tackle these aerial, uh, aerial attacks that is going to happen in, in their region. Uh, this attack is also happening in the wake of recent uh, uh, grain drill uh, that, that was terminated by the Russian side, uh, that Black Sea grain drill. And now we have seen increasingly attack by the Russian side onto the infrastructure of uh, you know, the port city of Odessa and other parts through which uh, Ukraine has been connected through, through for its trade and other aspects to the other world. So, uh, now the port cities of Ukraine are also becoming under uh, increasingly under the Russian uh, missile or Russian uh, rocket attacks. Uh, Moscow region is uh, coming under the uh, drone attack from the uh, Kyiv side. So clearly uh, the, 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 the war that has been going for more than 500 days now has reached into a level where no side is budging and it looks like it is going to escalate further where new type of weaponries are going to be used, new type of uh, you know warfare is something that both sides are exploring we have recently seen uh, ukrainian side being supplied by uh, upgraded weaponry and cluster bombs also which russia has claimed that ukrainian side have started using in war against russian forces in some of the region uh, but how russia is going to respond to these uh, these uh, latest attacks or latest warfare uh, coming from the key is remains to be seen because russian side or russian authorities have said that these attacks will be duly responded so Going forward, we can only see an escalation in the conflict that has been going on for more than 500 days now. Friends and I rented an apartment to come here and unwind. And at some point, we heard an explosion and it was like a wave. Everyone jumped. And then there was a lot of smoke and you couldn't see anything. From above, you could see fire.